All right, it's an episode two of Edelbrock Live. How's everybody doing? How you doing, Eric? Doing all right. Can't How complain. It's Friday, right? Yeah, right. How was your Fourth of July? Fourth of July was good. I got had some fun. Didn't lose any fingers. That's good. Relaxed. <laughs> it was good. It was a good time. It's my first day back in the office, so I'm a little, yeah. a little rusty. Catching up. A little bit you know, drinking, but just a little bit of getting back in the groove. I hear you. How I was yours? You. It was good. It spent time with some friends, you know, a little pool party, barbecue, yeah. with some fireworks, and it, was, it wasn't bad. Can't beat that. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, you have some news for us, Eric? Yeah, I definitely want to talk today about just kind of some updates. You know, we've got we've always got stuff going on here at Edelbrock. Brock. There's always new news. And so kind of the new thing we got is two things. Um, one is we finally got our emissions, our EO carb number for our LS3 cylinder heads. So this includes our ECNC head, and our Victor Jr. head as well. So this is head as well. So this is All right. Sorry, we had some uh, technical difficulties. Some, some audio issues. <laughs> Might be a little low, but it'll, it'll work. So, anyways, so let me pick that back from the top. So we got a new. We have a cylinder head we've had, had out for a while. It's for the LS3, and we just got our EO or our carb legal status. So emissions legal on uh, LS3 engines. So this includes your 97 to 2017 applications, 57, 60, 6.2. Um, bearing applications in there, so definitely you need to go check out our website or check out CARB's website. To see what included, but really exciting. So this covers quite a bit. It's a fully CNC, at least the ECNC has a fully CNC head, high performance head. Now it's legal for the street. Awesome. So it's really cool, man. I mean, it's, it's exciting we get to get this kind of stuff done, you know, because it's a, it's a nice head. Um, we do them in our shop back here, and they're, they're beautiful, beautiful heads. So we're pretty excited about that. So that's okay. available on our website. You can check out the information. Um, and it's so that's making 601 horsepower, 468 torque to the wow. rear wheels. And that's on the F 150, right? F 150. Yep. Um, and that's, um, and if you look at the factory numbers, now there's to the crank, yep. it's 395, I think 400 torque. So gotcha. we're still making, if you do the math on it, rough math, we're not, we're not math experts <laughs> here, or professors by any means. But that goes out to about 680, 690 horsepower to the gotcha. crank. So that's a big jump in power. That is, is also on 93 octane because that's what the OEs test on. Yep. So we test on that as well to give you true numbers, true. But if you, you know, still if you knock that down to 91 octane, that's still a really healthy, really healthy number. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about that. So check out our website, 2018 F-150 uh, supercharger is available and is emissions legal. Awesome. Awesome. So, and then kind of now today, we're going to just going to kind of start talking to you about the different rotor packs we use in all of our superchargers. Uh, we, we use strictly Eaton rotor packs, and Eddie's going to kind of run through the different sizes that we utilize. All right. So, one of the questions I always get when I'm on the road is, you know, what's the difference between the different size rotor packs that we offer? And we have, you know, as everybody knows, we're actually doing some import stuff now. So, um, just going to take you through the different uh, sizes that we have. So what we got here is this is the uh, 900 series from Ian. This is what we use in our Miata kit. Um, this right here is the 1320, which is used in the BRZ FRS and GT86. Um, the 2300, which is the original one that we pretty much started all our, I believe all our supercharger, right? Even from yeah, the, the Mustang, Mustangs so from the, back way back in the day. Yeah, 2009, I think we launched our yep. 08, 05 to 08 Mustangs. So, this was the original battery. So we've been using that for, you know, almost around 10 years already. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. So the 2300 and then, uh, you know, as a lot of people know, uh, Eaton just came out with the biggest rotor pack that they offer now, which is a 2650. Um, there's a, a couple different uh, manufacturers that offer that size. But you know what separates our kits from everybody else's is our our very specific design, especially our intercooler, which is what we call our uh, a DP3C. You can see it here. That whole top section right here that, that, you, that you see, that's actually one big intercooler. So it actually passes twice through the intercooler. So I mean, as you can see, we I pretty much brought them up here so you could uh, see the different sizes. So as you can see here, this is a 900 series. This is the 
1320, so it's a 1.32 liter. This is a 2300, so a 2.3, and then the 2650. A lot of people ask the difference between the 2300 and the 2650. Uh, the main difference is it's a little bit longer and the diameter of it is actually bigger. Um, when we designed our, our new uh, TP3C uh, superchargers, what we did is we engineered them so that we, it will accept the 2650 down the road and that's pretty much what we offer now. Um, we have the 2650 now for all the Hemi applications. Uh, the 2650 will be offered in the Camaro kit and it will also be available in the Mustang and the... Yeah, and actually, yeah, those numbers I gave earlier are actually for our 2650 kit for the F-150. So that's exactly. actually with the new kit. And from what I understand, it makes a little bit more power um, on that 2650 compared to 2300. But really, what well, the 2650 really shines is it's, it's like you said, it's a little bit bigger the whole yeah. way around. A little bit wider, a little bit longer, a little bit stronger and also it has a better from my understand two better bearings not better bearings but different bearing design allow it to spin up higher yep so really the 2650 is really where it goes to shine is well beyond you know when you get in that higher rpm range yeah. that's what it really shines but even then on the low end and i say low end because it's an emissions legal kit yep. it's still going to equate to you know 10 15 horsepower yep. well which yeah. is great i mean so it, it just means also too that the system's not working as hard yeah, that's the main yeah. thing that a lot of people ask is you know what's the difference between the 2300 and the 2650 on the same platform and what i try to explain to everybody is it's actually working a lot it's a lot less strain on the actual yeah. supercharger, but what the greatest part is it gives you more capacity if you ever want to build up your engine and all that stuff, you know. The 2650 has been proven well over a thousand horsepower on different applications. It's just, it, it on the actual carb EO uh, tune, it's the same exact uh, horsepower, maybe just a little bit more, but it's working a lot more efficiently. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, I know they've had to make a few, you know, a few calibration adjustments here and there, but nothing too bad. No, no. it's really cool. And for us, I mean, eventually we're going to use 2650 for all of our stage, eventually stage one V8 kits, anything yeah. that requires that, and kind of phase out the 2300 just because, it, like Eddie says, it's more efficient. It's really, you know, for us, it's also one less thing you have to worry about in the way of skew. You have to carry two skews that are roughly exactly. the same. But we'll still utilize, like we said, the smaller units um, from Eaton. Yeah. Just, for us, I mean, it's a, it's a great package. I mean, we, we love Eaton. Um, this is not a plug for them by any means, but I tell you what, we've had some really good luck with these i shouldn't say luck it's, just, it's a well, really well manufactured unit yeah I've, in my years i've i have hardly seen any and you run any, a, our supercharger on your truck yeah well, i run right? my truck i have the old 2300 series for the yeah. uh, silverado and it runs great i mean i've had it on there for i'm probably at about sixty thousand miles on it and it, and it runs Nothing. great still runs like a champ sounds good makes power awesome. so but yeah it's, it's a great and we've had you know they're really good like i said eaton does a great job putting together they're rock solid We've never had any, you know, warranty claims issues on that. I mean, yeah. that's a great product. You can't, you can't beat it. That's the, the cool part about these too is the like, uh, like a Jeff Jones. You know, he actually runs this in a racing application. We have uh, Michelle Abadi. She runs a 20, uh, 1320 on her uh, BRZ, or is it an FRS? I'm not. She's got an FRS, I think. It's an yeah. FRS. It's so similar. Um, and you know, a lot of people ask why didn't we put a bigger uh, supercharger on the Miata? realistically size i mean Let's it's take a look at that kit right up here i mean i mean it's a really compact kit if you ever seen the engine bay that thing there's no room to work and actually our designers had to really do some work and actually in kind of invert it and stuff in there sideways I and mean, they did a great job you yeah. look at it in there and it's it's it's, it's pretty tight it's there's tight. no room in there i mean that's pretty much the only reason why we didn't go with a bigger rotor pack and i mean that far as brz i've heard, I've heard some people do up to 400 500 horsepower yeah. with the, the 1.3 liter so it's it's on it's the a, 85 and yes, serious exactly. serious building of the engine but but yeah and also too i think for us what's important for our guys and our calibration our engineers it's it's the right setup for the vehicle you know yeah you could i'm sure you could find a way to put 2650 on the miata yeah but would it make <laughs> sense no for a daily driver something we got to get emissions legal yeah. that's perfect it's, it's giving you the right amount we're still increasing the horsepower at least 35 40 percent you know we're still what did i lose over here yeah. I mean, we're having all kinds of technical difficulties today <laughs> but um, um so i mean it's it's really it comes down to that it's engineering it's, it's what's the right unit for the vehicle and if somebody wants to upgrade down the road yep. there's ways to do that i mean there's still smaller pull is still going to make it turn faster exactly that's that's the good thing about our kits is if you want to you know spin the the rotors a little bit faster all you really have to do is change the pulley I mean, of course, there's limitations to how many how many pulley sizes there are, there's available, um, but for the most part, you probably have to end up building up your engine if you want to, you know, push it beyond the limits of what we designed it for. Um, and the, one of the greatest parts about our superchargers, with which uh, which is the oiling system, a lot of people don't realize that it's a self-contained oiling system. 
So this, this the oil goes right up in here. It's a 100,000 mile uh, change interval. So you don't have to worry about that for 100,000 mile, which is really nice. You know, yeah. you don't have to worry about tapping into uh, your, you know, your, your oil pan or anything like that. It's and really, they can take a beating too. You look at like the drift guys, like oh, yeah. we have Jeff Jones, um, Spike Chen is a new, recently a new drifter that we brought on board. And these guys beat on that thing. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's like just, you hear it going crazy. We took and we brought Jeff's first yep. uh, unit actually in and just serviced it this year and it looked great. The guys in the back ran through it, pulled it apart. And it, it, it took a whole season of, of, of beating on the rev limiter for, you know, a minute and 30 seconds at a time with multiple runs. I mean, I think he, I can't remember the number he gave you. I think you he said the, the right around 300 yeah. runs on that kit. And it was funny because when I took it back there to uh, superchargers, they asked me why are, why did I even bring it back? All they did is change the oil, inspect it, and give it back to them. Yeah, that's so. awesome though. I mean, but, but that's the kind of stuff that we do that you guys want you to know that we do is we don't ever stop R&D. You know, even when we've got a kit like Jeff's, which has been out for four or five years, yep. it's a universal supercharger kit, we're still going to follow up, put it in an environment like that where it's going to get beat on and it's going to go through, you know, that, that's heat. I mean, that thing's oh, been yeah. around the U.S. in different, at, you know, atmospheres, heat, yep. everything. And then, and then bring it back and let's pull the part and take a look and make sure that it's going to, you know, we built a product that's going to last. And, and, man, if those guys, they can beat on, you know, yeah. you know. I mean, we got everything cool. covered from, what, drifting, drag racing. Derek West, I mean, off-roading, off all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's a very proven system. I mean, you you know, the Eden rotors, again, like you said, not a plug, but they're, there's a reason why OEMs use the same exact rotors. Oh, it's a great rotor. Yep. I mean, like you see, yeah, Derek's another one. Derek West is a uh, drives off-road, and I think he's had his blower for three years, maybe four, and we've never serviced that one. And wow. it's still running strong. He's winning races. So, awesome. you know what? Kudos to our engineers and kudos to Eden. Awesome. Well, cool. You know, just wanted to touch bases on all the different uh, rotor packs that we offer and just give you a little insight. If you have any questions, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing this once a week. Uh, we'll notify everybody when we're going to do it. We'll give you a five, five-minute countdown, and we'll go from there. Awesome. you have anything else? No, I think that's it. I think we're ready to sign off. Awesome. Take care, guys.